Hi, my name is Amin and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create A plus content for your books. And it's a simple and easy way to create it on Canva. I created this on Canva and it took me less than an hour to create it. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video, how to do it. You know, it's pretty straightforward and you can probably do it without even watching this tutorial. But just in case you need some help or some ideas on how to create A plus content like this, I thought I'd make this video. So when creating A plus content, you can see here that I'm on my A plus content manager dashboard and you can see that there's this button here, add module. And if I click on it, you can see that there's all these different types of modules you can select for your A plus content, but most of them seem a bit complicated. And if you were to go ahead and say, create something like this, it's something that's going to take a lot of time. And let's say you have a lot of books that you want to create simple A plus content for just to maximize sales. Then what you can do is go for this one here, this standard image header with text. So if I click on this, you can see that it's just a simple rectangle, a large rectangle that's 970 pixels by 600. And you can see here that you can add in a headline as well. But usually what I do is I just ignore this headline bit and just add in the A plus images. And also this particular module is the largest A plus module you can choose, which means that you can easily display your cover and interior and customers will be able to see them large on any devices that they use. And especially a phone because the majority of customers when they shop on Amazon, they shop using their phone. And just to give you an example, I have my mood tracker journal open here on my phone, as you can see. And if I scroll down, you can see that the A plus content is nicely displayed. It's large, it's clear. So that's exactly what you want to do. You want to create A plus content like this so that customers who are using their phone, they can see exactly what they're buying. So when I create A plus content, I like to create three or four images displaying exactly what the book is and also mentioning some features and benefits of buying the book. So usually on the first picture, what I like to do is just display the front cover along with a feature or benefit. And then on the second image, display the interior. So both sides of the interior. And then once again, displaying some features. And then on the third and fourth, for some books, I create only the third image. For other books, I'll create a fourth and fifth image as well. So you can see that this is just a zoomed in page of my interior and I'm displaying a feature to the customer. And of course, this is a basic way of creating A plus content and it's a free way. But if you want to create something better, for example, if I go to my mood tracker journal here, you can see that I've got these book mock-up templates, which I paid for. Of course, if you want to create something like this, then it's going to cost you more money. But I don't think it's necessary because all you have to do is just tell and show the customer what they're buying and the benefits that they're getting. You don't really need to create something like this, but it's up to you. If you want something that's more professional looking, then you can get mockups like this designed on websites like Fiverr or Freelancer. But anyway, moving on to the tutorial, you can see that it's 970 by 600 pixels. So I'm going to head over to Canva and then click on create a design and then custom size. And you can see that I've already got pixels selected. And as I mentioned, it's 970 by 600 pixels. But what I'm going to do is multiply these numbers by five. So if I multiply 970 by five, it gives me 4,850. And then if I multiply 600 by five, it gives me 3000 pixels. So this is the size I'm going to select. And the reason for this is because by having more pixels, it provides high quality A plus content so that when they're viewed on devices, they appear clear. So this is the size I'm going to select. And then you can see here that I have a blank canvas. So what you can do is just go through these templates and find something that's appealing to you. So as I've shown you before, I selected this particular one and then I'm just going to get rid of this. And then you can see here that there's all these flowers that are grouped together. So I'm going to delete some of them. So I'm going to click on ungroup and then just delete these ones here. So this leaves me with space to add in my cover. So I've already uploaded my cover. So if I go to uploads, you can see that I've got my cover here. So I'm just going to click on it and then I'm just going to enlarge it. And you want to make it big. You don't want to have it small because that way customers, they won't be able to see it properly. 
and it's going to affect their buying decision and then what i'm going to do is add in a drop shadow so that there's some depth to the cover otherwise it just looks flat and it doesn't look like a book so i'm going to click on it and then click on edit image and then you can see that there's shadows here and if you don't see shadows you can just type it in and then i'm going to use a drop shadow so now you can see that there's some depth in my cover and it looks like a book so you can see that there's these lines here so i'm just going to edit the drop shadow and then what i'm going to do is just leave everything as it is but i'm just going to increase the blur a little bit so this seems fine to me so i'm just going to leave it at that and then what i'm going to do is add in some text so i'm going to go back to elements here and then what you want to do is select some sort of shape so i'm going to click on this over here see all for lines and shapes and then you can select any of these you want so in this particular example i'm going to use this one here and then just place it accordingly so i'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so that whatever text i put in will fit and then for the colors i'm just going to use colors to match my cover so for this gray color here i'm going to select white for this one this bright pink color and then for this one i'm just going to select this lighter pink so this just displays the colors that are already on your design so you can just use the same color to match your cover and then i'm going to add in my text so i'm going to click on the text tool and then click on this one here and then i'm just going to make it smaller and then just place it on top of my rectangle and then at this stage what you want to do is you want to grab the customer's attention and you want to mention some sort of feature or benefit to buying your book preferably benefit because benefits are more appealing to customers rather than just putting in features so i'm just going to type in journaling is a great way so journaling is a great way for improving your physical and mental health of course i'm only doing this quick you're going to take your time and you can probably come up with a better benefit than this that's more appealing to customers and then I'm just going to change the font. So I'm just going to select something from here. So I'm going to type in calligraphy. Or well, actually, I don't need to type it in because you can see here that on my recently used font, I used this font here, Scripter, which is the font I'm going to use here. And then you just want to play around with it to find a size that fits well with your design. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. And one thing you can do is you know the books on KDP they have a fold here so I'm just going to create this fold so I'm going to add in a line and then for the line weight I'm going to change it to 10 and then rotate this and then place it on my cover and then what I'm going to do is duplicate this so I'm holding on to the option key on my keyboard and I'm just going to drag it here and then for this one I'm going to select white as the color and then with both of them selected, I'm going to reduce the opacity to 10%. Or well, actually 10% doesn't seem right, so I'm going to change it to, let's say, 25%. So you want to play around with this to find something that's appropriate for your book and it displays the fold. I'm just going to grab the white one and just put it next to the black one and just get it to overlap a little bit. So if I zoom in, you can see that there's an overlap between the black one and the white one. And then if I zoom back out, you can see that it's beginning to look like a fold. But I'm just going to reduce the opacity of the black one a little bit more. So bring the opacity of the black one to 10%. Now if I zoom out, you can see that it looks like a fold. So with the fold, it now looks like a proper book instead of just a flat image. So that's the first one done. So what I'm going to do now is click on add page. And then what you want to do is get both sides of your interior and put them together. So I've already uploaded it. So I'm just going to place it here. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate this. So once again, by holding on to the option key, I'm just going to drag it to the side. And then with both of them selected, I'm going to make them bigger and then just center them. And then what you can do is also add in drop shadows to this so i'm just going to do that so once again you want to click on edit image and then shadows and then drop shadow and then the controls i'm just going to play around with this a little bit 
so 12 seems fine for the transparency I'm just going to reduce it a little bit to 25 and I'm going to do the same with this one shadows drop shadow and then adjust the blur and transparency so this one's going to be 15 and then this one 30 so you can see here that if I click off it now you can see that there's more depth it looks much better rather than just leaving it plain and flat and then what I'm going to do is copy one of these lines so I'm just going to grab one of these by holding onto the option key and then just dragging it underneath and then for the color I'm just going to select a sort of a gray color and then just position it in place so this seems okay you might want to extend this a little bit now I'm going to copy the rectangle and the text so by having both of them selected I'm going to click on command and C to copy and then over here I'm going to paste it so command and V to paste and then what you want to do is once again you want to mention some sort of benefit or some features about your book so I'm just going to write down some features so I'm going to type in features here and then duplicate this and then I'm going to have my bullet points here so some of the features of my book are the ones that you can see on the screen so hours slept energy levels mood activities so you want to write down the features of your book and for the title I'm just going to change it to keep track of and then once you've put down the features of your book you want to select it all and then add in bullet points and then once you've done that you should have something that looks like this that's the second A plus content image complete so now I'm going to move on to the next image so once again I'm going to duplicate the page and then for the third image usually what I like to do is just have a page of the interior zoomed in so what you want to do is you want to zoom it in so much so that it covers at least two thirds of the A plus content module so that looks fine to me so what I'm going to do is once again grab this rectangle and the text and then duplicate it and then write something like room for your journal entry and then what you can do is get like an arrow or something pointing to the feature that you're mentioning so you can see here that I've got this arrow here that I recently used so for the color I'm going to change it to pink and then I'm going to flip it vertically and then just adjust the size so this seems fine to me so I've got my first module the second module and then my third module so I'm just going to download it now by clicking on the share button here and then download I've got PNG selected as well as all three pages and then I'm just going to click on download and then I'm just going to open them and you can see that I've got all three modules now and they're ready for uploading onto KDP so I'm just going to upload them now to show you how they look so I've got one module here I'm just going to add in two more and then another one here and then I'm just going to upload them and then once you've uploaded them you should have something that looks like this you can add in text if you want to but that's entirely up to you usually I just leave this part blank and if I click on preview here you can see that this is how it's going to look on a laptop or a computer and this is how it's going to look on your phone and of course I'm not going to upload this because I've already got A plus content for this particular book so this was a simple tutorial on how to create A plus content for your books if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like it and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this